Hi Bronwyn, welcome to Arrow Presents today. Thanks ever so much for coming. So tell me, who are Sandata? Hi, thanks for having me here today. So Sandata are a multi-award winning consultancy. We specialise in enterprise-wide solutions across all aspects of DevOps. We work with the largest enterprises across the globe. The commonality between them is that they have the most complex requirements. What differentiates us is that we have both the technical skills and the transformation management skills for successful implementation across the whole enterprise. So John, what expertise does Sandata have in mainframe technologies? Uh, well, we have um, expertise in all of the major mainframe disciplines, uh, development and test, software configuration management, systems admin, database admin, and operations. All of our consultants have got uh, more than 10 years experience uh, working in uh, enterprise environments, uh, major banks, and, and other FIs. And uh, also we, uh, we have the capability to, to follow the sun, as it were, and work in different time zones. So Gary, what is a Sandata pop-up mainframe? The Sandata pop-up mainframe fundamentally addresses the issues around the shortage of mainframe environments and accelerates time to market. You see, typically today, mainframe teams still deliver a waterfall style of delivery on fixed shared environments that are a common source of defects in production. So the pop-up mainframe enables enterprises to adopt agile and DevOps practices and essentially provides clean environments on demand so mainframe technology can deliver just as fast as other technology, technology areas that use modern agile approaches. Thanks Gary, that's really interesting. So Nadine, same question to you. Yes, hi Jules. Um, the pop-up mainframe is essentially an out-of-the-box, fully configured and functional virtual mainframe that you can provision and tear down on demand and on commodity x86 hardware. It uses IBM's well-established mainframe hardware emulation technologies to make this possible. The result being a user experience that mirrors that of a real mainframe, but at a fraction of the cost and time. On top of the emulator, you have real ZOS, as well as the full IBM developer software stack, which includes DB2, Kix, and MQ. And if you want, you can install any additional application software, internal or commercial, on top. So John, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh Yes, I, I'd just like to add that um, pop-up mainframe is a hardware emulator as opposed to, for example, a compatibility layer. That means that it emulates machine architecture and devices, and therefore it's running real mainframe code. Um, as Nadim said, um, it'll run any third-party uh, software as well. So, for example, mainframe developers typically might want to have FileAid installed, or Connect Direct, um, or any of the other favourite uh, mainframe tools. So Gary, I'm a potential client. Why would I buy a Sandata pop-up mainframe versus a ZDNT from IBM? Powerful as the ZDNT software is, it is just not straightforward to install or configure, and can often take between six weeks and three months to get up and running and actually fit for purpose with an organisation. We've actually seen multiple clients actually give up installing ZDNT because of other project demands. So the pop-up mainframe directly resolves this and you can download, install and have running in your org in under two hours so you can realise the benefits instantaneously. If you buy from Sandata, we will also have the latest and previous versions of ZOS available so you can match the same level of virtual to physical ZOS within your company without any fuss whatsoever. And from a technical perspective, John, is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I mean, we've worked very hard in Sandata to, to put together a product that's absolutely ready to use out of the box. I mean, there are three aspects to this. One is the, the Linux host, and we've chosen to use Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7.7 7 or 8, um, which is the one that, that IBM recommend to use. Um, secondly, there's the installing of the ZDNT application itself. Um, that's quite a lengthy process, and there's a there's a certain there's a certain amount of configuration choice, um, and we we hope that we've chosen the the best settings for a typical uh, 
mainframe organization. Thirdly, there's ZOS itself. And because IBM are offering the entire software stack, um, this this really is quite front loaded. And um, they, they've set it up so that when you bring up your, your pop up mainframe, there are a lot of services running that you don't really need. So we've made some sensible choices about what to start up and, and what not to start up. Everything's still installed, so the, the choices are still there. But when you when you start up the mainframe, you're not going to be bogged down with a lot of unnecessary, for example, health checking services. Um, and so we've uh, we've optimized that to get the fastest um, boot time for, for ZOS. So yeah, hopefully, you know, we've, we've made some sensible choices for the market at large. So where can a pop-up mainframe be hosted? So one of the biggest benefits of pop-up mainframe is that it allows you to host mainframe almost anywhere, which has an x86 platform. So it can run on desktop servers, virtual machines, containers in the cloud, as well as on individual laptops. In the cloud, you can have on-prem, off-prem, and hybrid cloud pop-up mainframes. So mainframe can finally be part of your cloud strategy. So is the user experience between a pop-up mainframe and a physical mainframe any different? No. no. So Nadim, how would a pop-up mainframe transform an organization's way of working? We at Sandata believe that the agility currently enjoyed by developers and testers delivering software in the Windows and Linux world should also be available to the army of forgotten people working with mainframes. So at its simplest level, the mere fact that the pop-up mainframe makes it possible to provision mainframe environments rapidly without needing specialist mainframe skills and at a fraction of the cost of real mainframe environments will result in accelerated delivery in that teams do not have to wait unnecessarily for environment allocation slots, improved quality of delivery in that the data that these environments in these environments isn't polluted by other potential users, thereby impacting the validity and quality of the testing and the data. There is no longer a reliance on the test environment management team to manage these slots and all the associated management overheads and bureaucracy that goes with trying to synchronize supply and demand. Finally, CI-CD pipelines can, pipelines can be used with mainframe delivery in the same way as they currently are done in the Windows and Linux world. So in the end, it really all boils down to greater agility, flexibility, but at a much lower cost. Yeah, just to add to what Nadim said, um, what I've seen over the years with uh, big mainframe organizations is that typically they'll have a lot of business applications which have been developed uh, in the modern way. Um, and which can be changed with agile methodologies. These are wedded to legacy mainframe applications that, that take care of all the back office stuff. And while the organization might need to make a change to the front end, um, even if they don't need to make a change to the back end, they have to do this end to end testing involving the back end. So this, le this leads to projects being bogged down because they know that they're going to have to test with mainframe. They know they're going to have to fight for the availability of a mainframe test environment. Um, and they know it's going to be long winded and costly. So what pop up mainframe brings to the brings to these organizations is now these projects can have a mainframe pop up made avail made available to them and they can then do their testing within a very short space of time uh, and do it cheaply and this this makes the projects um, much more feasible than they might otherwise have been. So tell me what can't a pop-up mainframe do? So there are a few limitations with pop-up mainframe and the license terms don't allow production transactions so it's only for development and testing. Um, and we don't recommend performance testing on the pop-up mainframe because you won't be able to achieve the performance you would in a full native mainframe. So Gary, how does the Sandata pop-up mainframe save clients time, effort and cost? Basically, you remove the time and cost of continually reprovisioning environments manually. 
as this is both high cost and error prone and can severely delay project delivery, which is extremely disruptive if you have a waterfall quarterly release cycle. So pop-up mainframe gives you complete flexibility so you can match environment provision to the needs of the business, enabling the client to move to a much more efficient continuous delivery model. And this reduces business risk as you can start delivering functionality incrementally as opposed to the traditional big bang, which is common in the mainframe world. Yeah, just to, to add that um, having a pop-up mainframe, having that increased availability of, of a mainframe environment means that um, business projects can complete quicker. So if you're saving time in putting a business project through, then you're saving money. The other thing is um, that uh, in the mainframe world, licensing is based on something called MIPS. So essentially, the more processing you do, the more you pay. So if you take that processing and put it on x86 hardware with the pop-up mainframe, then you reduce your um, mainframe licensing costs. So John, what are some of the real high level benefits of a pop-up mainframe versus a physical mainframe? Uh, well, pop-up mainframes can be replicated to give you multiple environments. Um, they, you can um, version the data that, that belongs to the pop-up mainframe so that you, you have a baseline and um, you can, you, as you progress your workload, you can take snapshots of the data and then ultimately that gives you the ability to return to your baseline, uh, so re return to the original machine state, um, and to um, fast forward to uh, snapshots that you, that you may have taken um, in your work. So that, that's a major benefit. Um, the other thing is, is that when you've finished with uh, the pop-up mainframe, you simply switch it off, um, and however long you leave it for, whether it's weeks or months, when you bring it up again, it's exactly as it was. So you don't have that ongoing um, administration cost and running cost that you have with a real mainframe. 